Hello again and welcome to what is now week 14 of our small worm bin weekly update. As you can see we have a lovely plate of potato peels for the worms this week and that's because we've been away so I'm afraid the um, pickings are rather slim. I find potato peel going into worm bins an absolute pain so what I do as you can see here is I freeze them and then thaw them. They take forever to break down because in worm bins obviously the worm bins don't get hot enough. So worms don't want to eat potato peels they want to eat the bacteria that's working on them but it's a very long slow process breaking down potato peel and anything root so parsnip peel is the same carrot peel is the same so i tend to freeze this stuff where even the the stuff that i get from the homes that go into the large bins i just throw them all in a big bag and throw them in the freezer and then let them thaw just a, a day or two in the freezer and then let them thaw out and chuck them in the bin they break down very quick so as you can see, even uh, in that short amount of time, it was a couple of hours from the time I, I froze the peel for about two days, took them out, and in a few hours, as you can see, they've thawed. You can already see the massive amount of discoloration that's going on with them. And now I'm just squeezing out as much juice as I can. This is all fluid that would have ended up in the worm bin. So this is, I think there's two banana peel in there, and the rest is all potato potato um, skins totaling about a kilo and you can see that's the amount of fluid I got out and I could get more but um, I'm happy enough to make sure that much at least isn't going into the worm bin so there's our stuff prepped and at this stage the dog is looking at his bowl thinking oh my god he can't be serious potato peels for dinner here's our worm bin now after we resurrected it from last week's disaster you can see it's actually looking quite well. Lots of evidence of the worms working over the cardboard there and the um, guinea pig bedding which we added. Now there was a couple of potato peels in that bedding and you can see there it's still crisp when I break it. That's been sitting in the worm bin for a week and prior to that it was sitting in the um, guinea pig bedding which has been composted down for weeks and weeks and it's still crunchy it still snaps when I when I break it so that's what I'm talking about um, the other issue of course with worm bins is you always find little bits of seeds which I just pull out here's another potato peel and you can hear it snapping and it's very crisp still so this is why I, I freeze them I mean you don't have to but I do. I just want the stuff to break down as quickly as possible so the worms can get using it. And now I'm just fluffing through the bin, making sure there's plenty of air can get through the bedding, but also it's an opportunity to look to see that the worms are actually working all of the bin, which they are. I think it's probably quite difficult to see on the camera in this video because it's um, I'm filming it on a, a phone camera but um, I can see by looking at this bin already that the worms have got quite a bit chunkier so definitely having less of a population in the same space is um, bringing these worms on so now I'm just going to add the kilo of potato peel and the two banana skins and leave them to it for another week. As always, thank you very much for watching. Please comment, any questions pop them down below and I'll do my best to answer. Um, leave me a comment um, and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe and I'll see you for another update next week. Take care now.